I'm Pat Worcester with Mission Possible Best Hygiene. I've been a full-time practicing hygienist for over three decades. I'm a published author and I'm a lecturer and I also go into offices and do hands-on training where you work on your moderate to severe periodontal patients. One of the requests that I get from hygienists is about instrument sharpening. It's very important that we have razor sharp instruments when we perform our scaling, replaning, root therapy procedures. So that's number one. But it can be time consuming and it can be difficult. So what I'm going to go over today is the procedures of how to sharpen instruments using three different apparatuses. First, I'll demonstrate how to use the Perio Star. Second, how to use the Sidekick by Euphrates. And third, how to use a generic hand stone, whether Arkansas or ceramic stone. So, here are the three instruments that we're going to use for, per for sharpening our perio instruments, our scaling instruments. This is the Perio Star by H-A-W-E, Howie, they make it, and it swivels. And I'm going to go into detail on how to use everything. Here's the Perio Star. Here is the Euphrates Sidekick. And here is a hand stone. With the Perio Star comes three different sharpening stones. The white is fine, the pink is medium, and the blue is coarse. So your more dull instruments, you'll need to use the blue. We usually use the pink one that's kind of right in the middle. The white one, when you have brand new instruments, is a great one to use just to kind of touch them up a little bit. The two electric instrument sharpeners, remember that they are electric, so they will get an edge up much faster than with a hand stone. So you have to be very careful. You don't want to over instrument because you'll wear off your blade. This is the, the instrument test stick that comes with the Perio Star. To tell you the truth, I mean, they wear out, they get notches in them, and, and they're not as good for checking because we use it so much. So I really like either a saliva ejector or a, a high-speed evacuator tip. I like these better. Um, this tip comes with the Perio Star, and it has a little magnet in it, and when you put it on the blade, it'll tip to the right or to the left as to which side the cutting edge is, or if it stays straight, then you know it's a universal instrument and has a cutting edge on both sides, so you know which side to sharpen. So, let's get started. Using the red magnet stick, it will show you which side of the instrument needs to be sharpened. We have the scalers or a universal curette where the red bar will be straight, and then when you get to your Gracie curettes, it will slant to which side the cutting edge is on. So that's a valuable tool because um, this way you could even have an assistant do this for you. Most of us hygienists all know which side is the cutting edge, so we don't, we don't really need this, but this is great for assistants, your hygiene assistants, who could actually do the sharpening for you. They don't have to know which side has the blade. Here's the Perio Star, and we're going to start with the Perio Star. First we're going to lubricate it. Then, as you put the instrument in, you want to make sure, because if there's multiple people in the office sharpening, you always want to make sure you have the same edge. So you back the instrument all the way back to the back of the rubber stopper, and then you make sure the tip is behind the metal edge. You don't want the tip sticking out. The tip has to be behind the metal edge and the back all the way to the back and then you close it. And now this, you always put them in on a three, so this way everybody, if you have multiple hygienists, you're all putting the instrument in on the same angle, and then you're moving it down to the same angle for sharpening. And what I do is I, I'm using my loops, first of all, to sharpen, this way I can see the edge. And you just want to move it, it's got, it's got one, two, three, and four. So you basically want to move it to the number where you can get it as flat as possible against the cutting edge. So this is number two. Seems to be perfectly flat. That blade is perfectly flat against the instrument. Well, of course, first you check it first to see if it's dull or not. And then you just turn it on. And you sharpen it. And then you can check while it's in there. Catches nicely, okay? So you can take it out. If you want to check it again, see you really, I want you to hear a ping when you know it's sharp, okay? And then let's check the other side. Not all the way 
very sharp, so we want it a little sharper. Same thing, you put the instrument in all the way to the back, the tip back, you close it down, Oop, move just a little, you gotta hold it. There you go, and the blade is on the side, so I'm gonna put it down to a two. I'm standing up and over the edge so I can make sure it's perfectly flat. ping so it's really sticking so that's nice and sharp and then what I do is I just take a Santa cloth and I've got sterile gloves on the stone is sterile and I just wipe this off because these have been sterilized already so I just wipe it off and then I put it back into the cassette for the scaling I don't want to have to re-sterilize them after I've sharpened them because and it does dull them a little bit. Okay, this is a langer, so this is a double edge. So you're going to sharpen both sides. Again, up to three. Put it all the way back to the rubber stopper, and the tip sticks in. You don't want that tip sticking out. This way, whoever loads this will pretty much be on the same angle. Whenever you sharpen, the important part is that you're always on the same angle. Otherwise, you have to remove too much of the blade in order to get it sharp. So you just want to bring it perfectly flat against there. Now if you start to get the, a little too pointed on the tip, you can actually do a little rounding on the tip. But you really don't want to have to do that too often. Nice and sharp. One thing about the Perio Star, it will bring up your instruments very, very sharp, almost brand new again. Okay, all the way back, tip in. Again, you started at a three, now you put it down to a two. Okay. And you could even put it down to a one, it's flat there. Okay. I just recommend, I personally think it, think it fits better on the two, so that's why I like to use the two. I just feel like it gets a, a smoother, larger part of the blade. See, I finished off on the, the one, and I didn't like that, so let me redo this. I'm going to go down just to two. You just need to hold it there not very long. There we go. Now we got our, our ping going. Okay. So, and then for a sickle for the Perio Star, again, you always load everything on the three, put the instrument all the way to the back, tip again. Uh, even with the edge. And this one, in order to get it completely flat, this one you really do need to bring it down to the one. And you really can't hurt anything as long as you have the stone this is, can you see that? As long as you have that stone completely flat with that blade. Okay, completely flat with that blade. Which is how you should be sharpening no matter what ooh, nice. No matter what instrument sharpener you are using. So if you're going to use the Euphrates sidekick, you would do the same thing. It's got a line for Gracies and for scalers and universals. So here's my universal. Got a little power switch. Okay, I like to get it in the position first. You put the back of the instrument against the back, and then you you hold it flat. Okay. <clears throat> then you do the other side the same way. The 
back against the instrument and you hold it flat. Okay, and then make it turn that off. So this is a sickle. So you're gonna do the same thing, you're gonna lay it flat against the back. And then there's a there's a little bevel here that I'm not sure you can see, but you, you lay this part of the instrument then on the bevel. So this way you've always got it on the same angle. Just do it a little bit, and then you flip it. The important part is you always want to make sure you're on the same angle each and every time. And these are the Euphrates Ever Edge instruments with this blue band, so they are really nice and sharp. To, to begin with, so it doesn't take much easier to sharpen them up. Here's a Gracie. Again, you've got, this is your blade side. So same thing, you're going to put it all the way to the back and then you're going to rest part of the shaft right there on that edge. And just turn it on. Okay, and the same thing. You always can see because whichever side it tapers down to is the side that you know that is your blade. So again, you put it all the way to the back and then you lean it forward. If you come too far forward, of course it lifts off the stone. If you have it too much like this, you can see too much of the face of the instrument. So it kind of helps you. It's a guide. It just kind of locks it into that one spot. It's kind of hard to get it in a different position if you, if you lean it right in there. And the directions that come with this, though, they have you moving it back and forth. I don't like that because I tend it jumps too much, and then I feel like I'm changing the blade. Same with the Perio Star; they have you moving the back part. Don't do that because then again, you're changing the angle of your blade. Now, when it comes to your hand stone, again, some of them need oil, some of them need water, depending upon if you've got a ceramic stone or an Arkansas stone. So. What you're going to do is you, you need to eliminate one of the, the t hands on the clock. Remember they always told us 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock, but my 11 and my 1 could be different on a daily basis or between other hygienists. So if you at least have the stone on the counter, you're eliminating one part, and you get a little bit more pressure. And the same thing, and I have to get down, I'm going to have my loops on, and I'm holding this blade where I can see it's not up too high, it's not down too low. I can see the entire face and I know the blade is on that stone and all I do is pull. And my my wrist is also resting on the counter, so nothing is free floating. It's an, I'm in total control and I, I only I don't pull it very far and I only pull it in one direction. Okay, now the other side, we all have challenges with right and left sides. This side I'm using my left hand, same thing. I'm keeping that complete blade down from the toe all the way to the back because that whole edge is a cutting edge. And I'm going to pull forward. Razor sharp, okay? So if you keep up with your instruments, it doesn't take much in order to keep them nice and sharp. So every time after we use our instruments for a scaling patient, we sterilize them and then we sharpen them. <clears throat> that way they're razor sharp for every patient. It's not fair to the patient if you don't have a razor sharp instrument because you won't um, get all the tartar off and you'll plain tartar and then it's even harder to get off and the patient won't heal. Same thing with a sickle. You hold it flat against the stone. And when it comes to this side, it's a little more challenging. So I actually pull it off the edge of the counter. Hold it flat. And then I can pull it forward. Otherwise, it's very difficult to get that to completely lay flat on a hand stone. But whatever system you use, they all work. And even if you keep up with it, you see I didn't take that many strokes even to get it sharpened with a hand stone. The beauty of keeping up with your, with your sharpening is that it won't take very long every time you go to sharpen. All right, I hope this was very informative for you, and good luck with your instrument sharpening. Remember, they must be sharpened with your loops on. 
so you can see your blade um, if you have your sterile gloves on and then you 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 wipe down the instruments with your with your sandy cloth afterwards you can put them back in your cassette put them back in the cupboard they're sterile we mark on the outside of the pack that things are sterile we put just an S in a circle so that anybody knows that that that's sharpened and ready to go um, so there's three different ways to sharpen and whichever one you use is great just make sure they're sharp you have to get the tartar off with a sharp instrument all right, good luck, sharpeners.